Hi and welcome back guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. We've got a good one for you here today. This is one you're not going to want to miss a second of. We've also got some things to put out at the end of the video, so let's get straight in it, into it. All I ever ask is if you do like talking XRP, XLM, digital assets and more, you know what to do guys. Go ahead and drop those X's below. Smash those like buttons so we know and of course share the content. Let others know far and wide what is truly happening in this digital revolution. So guys, we have a contentious debate over the proposed XRP buyback by the Federal Reserve. Proposal suggests a buyback rate of 37500 per XRP token. Now we've heard about this in the past, right? And this is kind of reignited discussions on its impact on the on global finance. So what we have here recently is Jimmy Valley, who champions this, the XRP's potential to become a world reserve currency and believes that this is full disruption of the traditional financial system, which I do believe as well, 100%. What Ripple, Stellar, um, we see XDC, a, a, a whole host of really solid blue chip utility plays are disrupting the financial system. But what we have here is a conflict between Fox Business journalist Ellen Terrett, Eleanor Terrett, excuse me, and you know that I like her, I'm a fan of Eleanor Terrett, and Jimmy Valley and Valley referencing Tarrett's coverage of the buyback proposal from two years ago, saying Tarrett initially was skeptic skeptical and then later expressed concerns about her lack of experience. And this is what Jimmy Valley's done and saying that um, the lack of experience is being exploited from promotional purposes. Valley criticizes her for uh, allegedly neglecting coverage of ETHgate, which she probably hasn't covered it in entirety like we all should really, but alleging the corruption within the Ethereum project ETHgate controversy Valley accuses mainstream media, including Fox Business, of disregarding corruption allegations tied to Ethereum. Now, Tarrett indicated her willingness to address ETHgate topic is in due course suggesting potential updates in the future and how there's ongoing tensions between traditional media and rapidly evolving this rapidly evolving crypto sector journalist responsibility guys is to is to cover this complex and controversial world of digital currency with the aim of being truthful and you all know I've told you several times that is the goal of this channel because I'm not going to be right 100% of the time, but I'm going to find out what is right and I'm going to get the truth out to you far and wide and I'm going to help you along the way with my years and years of experience in this game. And I'm going to talk to you in a moment just how you can get a little bit of value uh, benefited off of my time that I've had here in cryptocurrency as well as the stock market as well. Now, a quick update on the SEC versus Ripple case. So the SEC requested an extension for upcoming deadlines in the Ripple SEC case related to remedy briefings. The deadlines were extended to March 22nd, April 22nd, and May 6, 2024. For the SEC's opening brief, Ripple's opposition brief and the SEC's re reply brief, respectively, Ripple agreed to the SEC's request for the deadline extensions. Key dates to watch for in the Ripple SEC litigation are March 22nd, April 22nd, May 6th of 2024. In 2023, we know Ripple won a significant victory when the court ruled that XRP is not a security under federal law and most of Ripple's XRP's sales were legal. Now, the court denied SEC's request for appeal and dropped all allegations against Chris Larson as well as Brad Garlinghouse. We know this, right? However, certain previous XRP sales made by Ripple to sophisticated entities were determined to be investment contracts. The remedies face of the lawsuit focuses on these institutional sales with legal briefs uh, expected on spe specified dates and the court will decide which remedies to impose without trial. Now, also, we have had some questions here recently on, okay, this market is hot now. I know XRP is solid. I know XLM is solid. We know XDC is solid. And we know that 
Ripple and Stellar are working with the big institutions, banking, all that stuff. We get it, right? But where can I find more information on upcoming projects with a lot of growth in front of them, smaller micro caps and other trending projects? Well, I've recently started a new channel. It's called Molt Altcoin Updates and you can subscribe there. I'm going to put a link to that channel and a pinned comment below, as well as a Telegram. Both are free. You can join our Telegram. It's Team X, and we have a lot of like-minded individuals there. ISO coin investors, as well as other project investors are there as well, and we can help each other. And I also can conduct one-on-ones and so forth. But the funny thing about this whole financial system that we are moving into that new revolution the new digital revolution is if you're not iso compliant there's a good chance you're not going to be in it and so yes we do put a lot of focus on iso compliance but there are other projects that are going to be in growing sectors like gaming ai and so forth that we definitely want to pay attention to and watch as they are growing rapidly and we want to be a part of those profits that are to be made with all that, guys, we see that Stellar, you know, and XDC Foundation are over over at ETH Denver, growing, doing their thing, shaking hands, rubbing shoulders, talking about smart contracts, talking, talking about tokenization, doing everything we need them to do to help us as long-term investors. That's all I got for you for now. I will drop those links and a pinned comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, drop an X in the comment section, and we'll see you all in the next one.